Rebels still down three with 7.20 to play. Can the Rebel offense get something going, though, against the Tiger defense? Auburn has been tough on the Rebels in the second half. The Rebels will start at the 20-yard line, first and 10. On the 20-yard line, Eli's in a shotgun. There's a snap. It's a low one. He has it time and throws over on the far side to Turner and a little flat pass there. Auburn's eating everything up short. High formation with Townsend and Turner. 6.40 to play. There's the snap. Manning, pump fakes, pumps again, sprints to his right, looking downfield, throws it away. Nowhere Third down and 11 from the 19. Nowhere for Eli Manning to throw. All the routes just cutting them off five to six yards, and uh, the Auburn defense just squatting at this point, sending some pressure in with the blitz, and Eli getting outside the pocket. Third down and 11 from the 19-yard line. Right hash. Espy and Johnson come wide left. Flowers is wide right. Manning checks the defense. 6.34 to go, clock stop. Auburn leads 20 to 17. There's a snap, here comes pressure. Manning throws to Flowers, has him on the far sidelines, caught at the 35 yard line, knocked out of bounds there. He hit him in a seam. Too deep coverage, as you mentioned. Flowers just blew right by the corner. He got no, uh, no bump on, the, on Flowers, and Eli just delivered it between the two cornerbacks and a nice first down pickup. What a huge first down pickup, a 16 yard gain to the 35. Keeps this drive alive. There's a give, left side. It's going to be Brandon Jacobs, and he'll run it to the 40. Close to, well, a five-yard pick up there. Eli under center, trots down the line, says something to his backs. They're in an eye formation from the 40, second and five. There's the give. Jacobs left side. He's in trouble. Nothing. Stopped at the 40. Third down and five on the tackle, Dontarius Thomas. Ole Miss is eight of 16 on third downs. A huge one here. Third and five from the Ole Miss 40. Under center is Manning. There's a snap. Back to throw. Has time. Swings it near side. Has his man Townsend. Caught at the 40. To the 30. To the 20. Lowers his head. Knocked off his feet at the 12-yard line. First and 10 for Ole Miss. The fullback out of the flat was wide open. Rose Green makes the tackle. But what a call by Eli Manning and a perfect pass. Plenty of touch. He didn't lead his man too much, laid it right in there. And down to the 12, Harry, that one good enough for 48 yards and a first. All the action goes right side. It just slipped to me, uh, uh, Lorenzo Townsend down that sideline, as you mentioned. And number 51, the linebacker just failed to run with him. And Eli found him, hit him going down the sideline, and he picked it all the way up, as you mentioned, at the 12-yard line. Townsend has only eight catches on the season, none bigger than that one. First and 10 from the 12, eye formation. In motion is the big tight end, Lilly. There's the snap. Fake on the give, bootleg right, Manning. He's got his man, Rosano. Catches it at the line of scrimmage, lowers his head, rumbles inside the five, knocked out of bounds around the four-yard line by Travis Williams and Will Herring. Eli has used his fullbacks in back-to-back -back plays, and the Rebels are second and one from the three. Four minutes to play in the game, clock running. Now can the Rebels punch it in against this very stiff Auburn defense? High formation, Rosano and Jacobs. He puts a man in motion, Brooks. There's the snap. Here comes pressure with the middle. There's the give to Jacobs off the left side, lowers his head, spins to the two. He'll have one yard close to the first down, though. Let's check with Stan on the sidelines. He's got an eyeball of it. It's going to probably be about half the length of the ball short, David. That's the way I see it. I hope I'm wrong and it's a first down, but it looks appears to be short. That was a big play by Rosano, though, making the catch setting this up. Stan, we hope you're wrong also. I do, but, too. Uh, they're getting ready to stretch it out here. But a nice <laughs> run there by Jacobs. Kink that chain up, baby. Oh, just a nose. Half of the ball. Oh, my goodness. Well, you got it right on the money, Stan. The Rebels with third and inches, trailing 20 to 17 with 3.28 to play in the game. Two tight ends stacked in tight with Rosano and Jacobs. Manning under center, takes the snap. Quarterback sneak. He should have the first down there. And the Rebels will have it first and goal just inside the two-yard line. Eli Manning under center. Auburn stacked in tight from the two. There's the snap to give to Jacobs. Right side. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, Miss. The Rebels have taken the lead with two minutes and 38 seconds to play. I believe you talked about that right side. We talked about a whole lot of humanity over there. Humanity over there. Stacey Andrews and big Marcus Johnson. Great surge off the right side. Brandon Jacobs at 235 just runs it in there for the go-ahead touchdown. His third touchdown of the season. The Rebels' Brandon Jacobs, a sophomore from Long Beach. Ole Miss leads 23-20, 2.38 to go. Here's the point after attempt by Nichols, and he'll kick it and connect. 
24-20. Auburn cannot tie it with a field goal. With 10 plays, 80 yards, the Rebels go. With 441, it took to do it. And let's check with Stan, who had an eyeball on that goal line. What a surge, Stanley. Well, David, you know, you, we were talking, and Langston Rogers came down in. Chuck, he says, look, we got Stacy Andrews, an All-American shot putter, and Marcus Johnson, who's been gutting it out. And then you hit Townsend, he said, we're coming this way. And it was no doubt he was going right behind those guys over the top.